Do you have chickens that suffer from this? Or maybe you have a rooster and want to ensure fertilization or less damage to your hens during mating. If so, there's one thing you can do to help all of these things, and you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Renee, and welcome to Tater Town. Today we're going to talk about that one thing you can do for your chickens that will both help poop from getting stuck on their butt or vent feathers. And I'm also going to show you how this will help the mating process if you have a rooster, of course. What am I talking about? I'm talking about trimming your chicken's vent feathers. What? Why on earth would you do that? Won't it hurt them? Well, if you do it correctly, it's no worse than getting a haircut. And there's so many benefits. Now, I'm not talking about plucking out the feathers. I'm talking about cutting the feathers. I don't recommend plucking it. I do know there are breeders and some chicken owners who pluck the feather. And if you're working with a vet, have at it. But there's two reasons I would steer away from this practice, especially for the majority of us. First, it can be painful for the chicken, especially if you don't do it correctly. Second, when you remove a feather completely by pulling it out, it starts to grow back right away. But when you cut a feather, it won't grow back until the chicken goes through the molting process. So unless you wanna to have to remove vent feathers multiple times during the season, cutting is the way to go. Also, when you pull a feather, there's a risk of damaging the follicle to the point where the feather may never grow back. They really do need those feathers for protection in the winter time, especially in if you're in a colder climate. So what exactly are the benefits? Well, it's important to keep your chicken's feathers free from stuck on poop, not just because it looks gross and it's unsightly, but that poop is gonna attract flies, which increase the risk of fly strike. And if you aren't familiar with fly strike, it's awful. Basically what happens is uh, the adult fly is attracted to the poop on your chicken's butt and it's gonna lay its eggs on it. And then when those eggs hatch, the larvae or maggots, they're gonna start to eat the flesh of the chicken. Have you seen the original Poltergeist movie? You know, the part where the investigator goes to get a snack and he puts a steak on the counter and a chicken drumstick in his mouth? Yeah, if you've seen it, you know what I mean. Needless to say, you don't wanna deal with fly strike and keeping the feathers trimmed will help to keep the poop from accumulating on them. This is my little helper today. Another benefit is that the eggs they lay should be cleaner. Hi, Lil. Got two helpers right now. The next benefit applies to mating. And if you have a rooster, right Bryson? If you have a rooster, uh, trimming the vent feathers of both your hens and your rooster can help in two ways. First, it increases the chances that your birds will successfully mate without all those feathers in the way. And second, mating should take less time, uh, which results in less time that your rooster can do damage to your hen's back. Not that it won't happen, but making it easier on him to mate should lessen the damage. So now that we've gotten that out there, let's get to cutting. You wanna make sure you have sharp scissors. Um, I really like to use trauma shears for this because they are really sharp and they have a rounded edge. This is what they look like. And I have a big pair like this and I also have a smaller pair. Um, I got it in a medical kit. That way I have uh, things to cut. There's a lot of animals here, so we need to do a lot of medical stuff sometimes on the fly. So I, I have a set of big and small ones. Um, they are really sharp and they have that rounded edge. So if the chicken gets a little frisky, I'm not risking jabbing her with uh, the sharp end of a regular pair of scissors. But regular scissors are just fine, but be mindful of that sharp end. Next, you really want a second person to help you or some sort of apparatus you can put the chicken into to keep it still while you cut the feathers. Uh, you really have to be careful not to cut the skin uh, so keeping them from moving around is very important. Now you can trim. One thing I forgot to mention is I like to throw some alcohol on the scissors just to keep them clean.
I'm always making sure that I try and put my finger backing it so I don't go past my finger and actually trim her skin. But I am trying to get as close as I can to her skin so the feathers aren't so pokey. Again, the most important thing to remember is to not damage the skin. And that means either by accidentally cutting uh, with the scissors, if you're getting too close with the scissors, say like there's a lot of poop that's stuck closer to the skin, um, or if you're trying to pull off the poop on the feather, uh, you wanna be careful to not pull the feather itself so that you don't rip the skin. If the poop is really caked on, it's really bad, uh, you're, you should really go ahead and soak their butts first to gently loosen and remove most of the poop before you get to cutting. If there's just a small amount of poop, it should be easy to remove with the scissors themselves. But if there's a lot, it's just safer and better and easier to soak your hen first. Just water or anything in there? Just water. You could use soap, but then you have to make sure that you rinse them. Ah, good girl. And then I'm going to take her out. Good girl. And I'm just going to dry her off a little bit. Oh, and you may want to wear safety glasses or some sort of glasses and or a mask, unless you don't mind getting feathers in your eyes, nose, and your mouth, because it really is like a pillow fight when you do this. It is just as simple as that. You still want to monitor them, but this is definitely going to reduce um, the possibility of having a lot of poop caked on. It also makes it easier to observe it, to see if there's a lot of poop, because I know with most of my chickens, their vents are covered by a lot of feathers, so I have to really get in there and look to see if there's poop caked on. I can't believe I'm, I've, I've never said caked on poop so much in my life. Anyway, um, it should help reduce the possibility of fly strike. Um, it's gonna make them happier. It'll make you happier. But let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see, do any of you trim your chicken's feathers? Do you have any thoughts? Um, is it something you've heard of before? Uh, would, is it something you would try if you've not done it before? Uh, let me know in the comments because I'm curious to see or if you've got a better way of keeping a chicken's vent area as clean as possible from poop caking up on it. Anyway, thank you again for joining me here on Tater Town. And if you get a chance to uh, like this video and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It helps keep us going and it helps me to present information to you to help you do the things you never thought you would or could do. If so, there's one thing you can do to help all of these things, and you're in the right place. I'm Renee, and welcome to Tater Talk. Bryson! <laughs>